Good morning everyone. I just wanted to run a quick intro and explain a few things to you guys before I start herping. So the main thing I wanted to get across is basically my schedule has changed quite a bit recently. I'm now working on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for the most part, so I will basically be filming the rest of the week. So yeah, if uploads are a little inconsistent while I'm getting used to this new schedule, I apologize, but I will do my best to get videos out. Um, it's really an interesting combination of being really slow harping to begin with and me getting adjusted to this new schedule. But anyways, so today being Sunday is the beginning of my weekend and I'm going to start it off with a little flipping around the house before the sun comes up fully and starts warming the tin rapidly because this time of year it's still pretty hot here in Georgia, unfortunately. It's mid-September and the high today is about 95 degrees. Thankfully, there is some relief coming next week. The temperature is going to be a little bit lower and hopefully the herping will start picking up. But for now, I'm going to do what I can with this hot weather. So we'll see how this goes. So the temperature right now is about 70 degrees at sunrise and it's been pretty dry. We had a couple of storms come through recently, but nothing really hit this area. Um, some other areas in Georgia got hit pretty well, which I'm excited about. But uh, that'll be relevant a little later in the video. Anyways, nothing under that piece. Tin flipping is not looking good today. So there was a marble salamander under this thing last time I flipped it, which has been over a week ago. There's two of them! That little one in the front's new. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm just gonna leave these guys to it and put their board back. The snake skin's still there too. But that's pretty neat. Not expecting that. All right guys, well I just slipped this under one of the pieces of cover out here. And this is a massive eastern hognose snake shed on my property. The nose is missing, but you can tell if you have experience with this species from the scalation that that is the head of an eastern hognose snake. Unbelievable. I wonder where this thing's at. That's frustrating. I missed this thing by a day or two. That's crazy. That is cool and very frustrating. I have seen one eastern hognose snake on the property I grew up on in my entire life. And it was pretty close by to where that shed was. So, I mean, there's a giant hognose snake here in my yard somewhere that I have to find. Should make for an interesting fall if he's hanging out, but I'm gonna put some more cover out in that general area. I'm gonna go play Pokemon Go with my brother for a few hours, then catch some sleep. And then I'm going to get up and we're going to go road cruise for pygmies and then Greg and I are going to go turtling later tonight. So should be a pretty action packed day, hoping there will be some more finds for you guys here in a few. So I will see you guys tonight. Hey, that's a last minute snake. Little eastern worm snake under this thing I never flip right here, almost back to the house. This is not cool. Jesus. What up guys, I am actually on my way out now um, to do some road cruising for the night. I'm going to meet Greg up at the spot and we're going to look for some pygmy rattlesnakes tonight. Hopefully this will go better than last time and uh, even if it doesn't, afterwards we're going out turtling so hopefully we'll be able to at least find some cool herps tonight. But I will check in with you guys when we get to where we're cruising. So this is the habitat where I'm going to be road cruising tonight. Isn't that insane? And that last dead pygmy I found was right there in the road. So, hopefully tonight's the night that I finally end this slump I'm in. We will see. Alright guys, just got my first live snake of the night, and it is this adorable little newborn copperhead. Look at this little thing. Man, that's cute. I'm going to get a couple quick voucher shots of this guy, and then I'm going to keep moving. Alright guys, here's one more look at this copperhead. Since the, uh, the other baby copperheads I found this year, I was not able to give you a very good look at. But, 
Really cute little guy, very tiny. Got a nice yellow tail on him. If you're not familiar with these guys, the juveniles have this bright yellow tail that they use to lure in prey. It's known as caudal luring, but they'll sit there and wiggle that bright yellow tail until something like a frog or a lizard or a little mouse comes along to try to eat it and then said creature gets eaten. So pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna let this guy go and keep herping. All right guys, next snake of the night is none other than a newly hatched gray rat snake. Pretty cool. Always like seeing these guys. It's really cool how different they are from the adults, but uh, I would not be surprised if this isn't the only one I see tonight, so I'm just gonna get him off the road and keep cruising. It's kind of hard to believe that this dinky little thing could grow up to be seven feet long. And this thing's like, what, seven inches maybe? Anyways, gonna make sure he gets off the road and keep cruising. All right guys, next snake of the night is something kind of interesting, not something I see on the road a lot. This is a worm snake. Flipped one of these earlier today at the house, but it's always weird to see them out crawling around. I think that is the first time that I can remember actually road cruising one of these. But pretty cool. Common snake to see undercover, but a cool way to find one. So I'm gonna let this guy go and keep cruising. All right guys, next snake of the night is another baby rat snake. This is really close to that last one, so it's possibly even the same one, but it also could just be a sibling. Anyways, pretty cool. Snakes definitely seem to be, there's a scorpion. Huh, pretty cool. We get this guy to the road. All right guys, just met up with Greg to share our finds from the night, and here's his prize. This is a beautiful little hatchling corn snake. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. Nice way to top off the night for sure, getting to see this guy. But we're gonna get some photos, and then we're gonna do what we do best, which is look for turtles, because apparently we can't find snakes anymore. This thing is gorgeous. Really cool little snake. Anyways, we're gonna release this guy and make the long drive to turtle land from here. All right, guys. Well, I was just listening to the Falcons beat the Eagles on the radio. Got some Taco Bell and we are almost to our destination for turtling tonight. Um, got through a little bit of Atlanta traffic, but we're almost where we're going, and I will check in with you guys here in a minute, hopefully with some turtles. All right, guys, we made it to the creek, and uh, water is super low. Check that out. Nice looking big bowfin. Stirring up the bottom, though. No turtles yet. All right guys, here's our first turtle of the night. It's a little loggerhead musk turtle, digging around, feeding. You can kind of see him underwater right there, but I'm gonna grab him real quick. It's a nice light one. Well, that's kind of weird. I just night flipped this little juvenile Midland water snake under this rock. Anyways, I'm surprised it took us this long to find one, so we're gonna let this guy go and keep looking. <laughs> this is a Midland water snake at our second spot of the night in C2. Crawling around in these roots looking for food. No turtles at this spot yet, though. All right, guys, this is a bummer. These are the remains of a juvenile alligator snapping turtle. Here's the lower beak. Or that's the whole beak right there, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, put those together back in right there. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, next find of the night. This little guy gave me a little heart attack. Because from a distance, I thought he was like a baby snake of some sort, like a baby mud snake, but just a three-line salamander sitting out in the open. I, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. It's dry, and he's a salamander, and he's just kind of hanging out right there. I don't know. Strange. Anyways, back to the turtles. All right, guys, next find, at, or first find at this next spot goes to this little tree frog, which at a distance might look just like a green tree frog, but this is actually a squirrel tree frog and the first one I've ever seen here. So, really cool find. 
Um, it kind of kind of weird that last time we were out here we found a barking tree frog, which is new for this area. And now I've got a squirrel tree frog here, both of which are species I've never seen here, so. Alright guys, Greg just spotted our next snake of the night. It's another Midland water snake. I'm going to try to get out here to it. Really pretty looking one from a distance. He's hanging out. You can see him right there. But walking creeks at night like this is a good way to find these guys out foraging. And sometimes you can even observe some pretty cool behavior, like finding them feeding and stuff. Oh my. <laughs> Anyways, good looking snake. He slurped up under that rock, but we're gonna leave him to it and keep walking. Finally, we got a turtle here. That's cool patterning. First loggerhead we've seen in a while. This is only what, like the second live one of the night? We found yep. a dead one. But loggerhead must turtle, good looking speckled individual. <laughs> Alright guys, just spotted a rough green snake sleeping in this bush right here. Hey buddy. Hello. We see these guys out here pretty often, but I'm going to get a quick picture of him. Well this guy is just kind of content to let us sit here and look at him, so I'm going to leave him sleeping right there. Give you a little bit of a wider look at this clump of bushes he's in though. And right here on the edge of this creek, and there's this big patch of like thicker bush right here and sure enough that's where he's hanging out so we're gonna leave that guy right there and keep looking all right guys you're not gonna believe what i just shined holy crap this is awesome all right i gotta sneak up on it real quick god oh god whoa that's a lifer all right guys so we walked up to this bush and we were shining around and i saw this right here that's a baby rough green snake shed. It has to be. It's the only snake that would be up in this bush like this. There's an anole right here. Is that two more sheds over there? And there's two more sheds right there at least. But we haven't seen any of the actual snakes yet. And uh, I want to because that'd be so cool to see baby rough green. They have to be in this bush. So we've canvassed this bush pretty hard and we have not seen any of the babies, which sucks because that would be so cool to see baby rough green snakes. But... We're gonna keep looking, and I guess if we can't find these guys, we're gonna move on, and maybe we'll see another one. That is a really big water snake. I'm gonna see if I can grab this guy. Whoa! That was a big water snake. There's so many water snakes out tonight. This one's just literally sitting here, just hanging out. Doesn't care. Oh. Bullfrog. Hello. It's a funny, funny shot. <laughs> Whoa! <God. laughs> there it is. Greg just spotted an alligator snapping turtle, four in the morning. Finally, we've been walking this creek, we've been walking creek since midnight. Four hours of creep walking, and there it is. Just what we were looking for. Alright guys, here is another look at this alligator snapping turtle. This one, how old would you say this one is, Greg? It's probably 10 years old. 10 year old alligator snapping turtle, but not anywhere near sexually mature, right? No, still probably another 10 years. So I'll just to show you how long it takes these animals to grow, and you can see it's pretty small, about the size of my foot in length, um, not including its tail. But absolutely incredible, always a pleasure to see these guys, and always the number one thing I'm hoping to see when I come out and walk around in the swamps at night. So, we're going to get some photos of this guy, let him go, and probably call it a night here. A great way to end the night. Alright, let her disappear in the night. Alright guys, so I am back at the house, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go flip that 
freaking piece of cover that that hog nose shed was under roughly 24 hours ago when I got out of bed. What's really gonna happen here is I'm just gonna get covered in ticks again. Let's hope he's under here. He's not, cool. All right, so unfortunately there was no hog nose or anything under any of the stuff that I flipped this morning. Um, it's almost six in the morning, so I'm gonna go get some sleep. This will be the last video for week 38. This was mostly recorded on Sunday night and a little bit of Monday night, but it'll go for week 38. Anyways, I will see you guys in week 39. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you enjoyed.